Oh, yo! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I got a box from Japan! Box from Japan of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Special Anniversary 2021. There are four boxes of Special Anniversary. These boxes are beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. People have been calling this a case. This is not actually a full case. A full case comes with six of these, but this is a full set of all four boxes, and we're gonna take a look through shripping them here today. If this is your guys' first time, I'm here and you want to see Dragon Ball Super card game goodness on a weekly basis, make sure to smush that subscription button. And if you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, let's see what we get inside of this box. This thing's a little big to strip them on camera. So I'm gonna use my dragon's knife here to strip them. It's actually a little bit more of a slice them right now. As we slice them there and strip them. And inside this box, there are four of these boxes. We'll go through the art and check them out. This is what it looks like inside four beautiful art boxes. And they got great cards inside them too. All right, so I'm gonna start it off here with this Sin Shenron box. Of course, we gotta shrip this thing. The art on these boxes is so cool. We got this Sin Shenron art here, Sin Shenron all over the bottom of the box and Black Smoke Dragon, a little more Sin Shenron and the negative Dragon Balls. And then inside here, we have some more art of Sin Shenron and the Shadow Dragons. Each box comes with sleeves. So we're gonna see what sleeve art we get here. They are not mapped. You also, you get a brick in each box that has two copies of each card from this expansion. And the sleeves we got here are, ooh, the SS4 sleeves. And we will get to that box. The theme of this expansion is SS4 cards. There's an SS4 Bardock leader that's really cool. But in each one of these boxes, you get two packs that are all gonna be foil versions of the expansion cards. And then you get four packs of reprints, which each one comes with one parallel foil of one of the cards featured in the reprints. I'm looking for blue stuff. All right, so let's get into these expansions first and let's strip them. Ooh, SS4, these SS4 cards just look so dang good. They're so shiny. You got this texture foiling on here. And these cards are wild. Basically, you put them in your energy and they resolve skills on your energy. And then there's other cards that resolve skills based on what's in your energy, including the leader. The leader isn't guaranteed one per one of these boxes of four, but you have a chance at getting it in any one of these boxes. So there's an SS4 card, SS4 call that searches out SS4 cards. Another SS4, Vegeta. Veku, which is supporting an older archetype. King Cold, Blessing of the Clan. This super combo is kind of crazy. It reduces the specified cost of a red extra card, which is pretty wild in certain decks. And that's it for that pack. And let's get this next shrip in here. Of course, the fire pull from this is the leader. If we can get the leader, that is the most exciting, but we're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of SS4, as you can see here. This is just a great looking card. They did a great job with the design on these cards, where the way they work, the texture foiling in with the gold foil just looks really good this is supporting broly which is also a really fun archetype and meta cooler i think this card looks awesome just a really really good looking shiny card that's what they do here in the dragon ball super card games make beautiful shiny cards and for these reprints i'm just going to go straight to the parallel foil so we'll see what it is here it is ooh, the super combo krillin moments before comeback this is definitely a great pull all the super combo reprints are fantastic pulls from this and i definitely want to get as many as possible very very exciting to pull next rip them on the reprint we got a ooh the cooler unison this card was like 150 bucks when it came out first and this reprint looks so much better really really good card in green and so there's four of these reprint packs in each box so we got two more here and ooh yeah vegeta super combo yo two super combo pulls in one box that is fuego this card is awesome i love these super combos when your life's at four or less you can use this get 10k combo power bottom deck a card and draw two so it really helps get dead cards out of your hand like if you have an extra unison that you can't use for combo power and you're going for game these combos these super combos are really really useful and our last pack here this is an android 17 and we go bananas or we can maybe even another super combo and it is another super combo yo raditz we just pulled three out of the five super combos from this one box that's a really really good box this is the red super combo and i love this art the uh kanji on here and the ink explosion sort of art is really really rad with the texture foiling just 
beautiful cards. I love it. The next box we're getting into is at the SS4 box. Let's check out this art. We got all the SS4 art here. SS4 Gogeta, who is very strong in this game and in the anime. There's the continuation of that art. SS4 Gohan, gotta give him some love. SS4 Bad Rock, because there's no bad Bad Rock cards in this game. And SS4 Gogeta with the SS4 Vegeta and Goku on the sides. And when we open the art here, we have just a beautiful display of the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Anniversary Box 2021. All right, let's see what sleeves we got in here. Ooh, the negative Dragon Balls. Very exciting. There is an Awakened Power set of sleeves, and that's definitely the most exciting one to pull. But it looks like this was, this kind of goes with the Sin Shenron box, and the SS4 sleeves go with this box. But they are mixed up here and there. And of course we got our brick for our packs. Again, there's gonna be two of the expansion cards all in foil and four of the reprint packs. Time to strip them. Strip them. Let's see if we can get that leader. Ooh, the Chi Lai super combo. That's really great. These new super combos are really cool. SS4 Vegeta. Oh, yo, leader. Ding, 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 bada ding, ding, dong. That is the SS4 Bardock Prismatic Strike Leader. This leader is awesome. It's really, really fun to play. Really exciting archetype. I love how much the energy is involved with how the deck plays, and it looks really, really cool. Definitely going to build a version and have some fun with it myself. There's some Cybermen for you, and Goku Black works undone. Well, at this point, it's I don't believe we can pull another leader. Uh, I don't think that there's two in one box. Here we got the Shugesh Super Combo supporting Bardock's crew. SS Rose Goku Black, a Pockle Scheme. This card's really, really great. I think for Blue Yellow, this is definitely a three of if you're running Blue Yellow. Really good in Soul Striker. He plays out four blockers for the following turn, to token blockers. So really nice defensive card. And it has Deflect, which is really cool. And Double Strike, of course. Topo, yo, this card is really awesome. Really cool that this guy plays out the Vegeta Unison. So I think this is a really useful card. Um, Yellow Topo could get pretty interesting with this, I think. And a Broly card supporting the Broly archetype and a Slug. I love this art, it looks really, really cool. Goku rushing in there and Slug just about to lay the beat down with that gold foil around his fist. Ah, oh, so nice. And onto our reprint packs. Let's see what we get here in these packs. Our first pack is Paragus, the Sacrifice. This art definitely looks a lot better than any other art, so exciting to see this get a reprint. Next strip them, we got, ooh, the Goku Black. This card is so good. If you have a blue and yellow multicolor card in your energy, you play him for two, and then at the end of the turn, you get to untap one and draw two, and then you discard one. So really, really useful card to cycle your deck and a 15K beat stick at that as well. Oh, Demigra, this is a fire pull. This card is awesome. This definitely needed a reprint. I'm glad it got one. This card is really, really strong. Overrun five for two energy or dark overrun five for two energy. So you can play this guy and he will stay out if you dark overrun him. When he comes out, you draw a card and warp a card. And when he swings, you can warp a card as well. So really, really strong card, 30K beat stick cheap over realm very very useful staple for black and the last reprint pack here to shrip them got here we got a ooh hit deadly vanguard i actually like the original art on this a lot i do like the texture foiling on here though i think it's very cool and our next box is the cell art very very cool box this is actually my favorite box we got cell on the front the continuation of the art here the vegeta super combo Goku Black over here. On the bottom, it's got the family Kamehameha with the kanji art. And on the inside, there's Beerus and Champa with the kanji art. And favorite art, of course, on the back, the UI Goku kanji. I love this so much as I have it right there. One of my favorite arts in the game. Let's see what we get in here. Maybe we'll get the Awakened Power Sleeves with the UI Goku box. And yes, the Awakened Power Sleeves out of the box with UI Goku on it. I think this is gonna be the biggest collector's item out of this set. Really, really beautiful sleeves. Of course, the Black Lotus of the Dragon Ball Super Card game, Sun Goku, the Awakened Power. What awesome sleeves. And for our packs, we got our two packs of foil expansions. 
The Broly, this Broly looks really cool. Beautiful art. And I think this could get pretty good. If it gets the right support, I think it could be strong. This card's insane. This card's just wild. You play him for five, you drop a Goku and a Vegeta and he has like an insane amount of skills if you have all the rainbow in your energy. And by turn five with Bardock, you should have that all in your energy. So just really, really strong, really cool card. Taste the rainbow. The Gogeta rainbow. And there's our SS4 Gohan. This is a counter attack. Kind of works like dormant. It just gives your opponent one more swing for the rest of the turn when you play him. So really, really cool card. Here's the unison for the deck, SS4 Broly. I think this art's awesome also. And from what I hear, it's good. I haven't really played it, so I don't know, but it sounds like it's pretty strong. And the one drop Broly, very, very cool card. It does support Wish. I'm not a huge fan of Wish decks, but the art on it is awesome, so I can't complain. Our next expansion here to strip them, we got another SS4 Bad Rock. The Kai Super Combo, which goes with the SS4 deck. Vegeta, Might in the Making. I think this art's awesome. Vegeta's just clocking Broly in the face. Looks so good, and the foiling looks awesome, and the texture just looks so good. Bardock, Resurrected Lineage. I think this card could be really good, especially with Vegeta's Final Flash, how you can make things skillless. If there's a way to rest it and then play this guy, you can basically just KO anything. And he has Swap, which is cool. And the Unison for the Broly... I'm not sure if this is used in Wish or if this will work in other lists as well, but I really like the texture foiling on here. I think it looks fantastic. And into our reprints. We got a bunch of super combos out of that first box. And out of this one, ooh, the four-star ball. That is a great looking parallel foil. It's four-star ball needed a reprint because the four-star ball was pretty boring. And I think this is an awesome reprint for it. If there's just a way to give Kid Koo stuff barrier, it'd be so much better. But since it doesn't have barrier, it just gets vanished. Yo, draw ape. This card is such a useful staple. You combo it off. Once it's in your dropper, you can pay two energy and draw two cards. So very fair and balanced card. And it's just really good. It works in pretty much any deck, but especially if you're playing yellow or blue yellow or any combination of yellow, just really, really useful card because it can help you get your arrival as well. Fun. Android 17 turning the tides would be fantastic. Would love to see one of the oh heroic duo Videl. I don't think this card's that great, but the art's really cool, and maybe there'll be something that supports it coming up. So who knows? Who knows what Bandai has cooking for us? Fun. And our last reprint pack is yo the Vegeta the Prince Strikes Back, and this is cool. This was the art on the box. I love these kanji arts. So this is the black super combo where you bottom deck one, draw two. Just really, really useful card. Pretty much every color that has the same color energy is going to run something like this. So really, really excellent super combo and beautiful art. I love all this texture foiling they do. And the kanji looks so cool on here with the gold stamp. I love it. All right, we got our last box here, the Vegeta art. Got to strip them. Oh yeah. This is the Vegeta box. It's just all Vegeta art. Vegeta all over it. Shout out to Vegeta Sand Army. Vegeta Sand Army loves this box. All Vegeta fans love this box. SS4 Vegeta, Vegeta Blue, Majin Vegeta. The art on the art for Vegeta's final flash. And on the inside, some more Vegeta. Who would have guessed it? And I'm calling it four star ball. Four star ball. So in each one of these boxes, you get one version of each of the pack arts, which I think is really cool. And of course, our brick here, and our last couple packs. So let's strip them. Pretty awesome that we pulled the leader. It's not guaranteed, and that's definitely the best pull. I think these Goku cards look so insanely good. The yellow on here just looks so fire. And the other Gohan, this is the Negate as well. Really, really good card, I think. This Broly looks so rad. I'm, I definitely want to build Broly with the promo yellow Broly leader. I, I really love playing that guy, and I think you can build some pretty strong stuff with him. Another Broly to support there, and Slug. And our last expansion pack, what we got here? Another Bad Rock. No bad Bad Rock cards in this game. And a Dispo. Zamasu Unison Parallel Foil. Nice looking card. I don't really know. This card is weird to play, but I guess it's probably good in some lists. Boma to incite a sneeze. What a great card. Really, really good looking card. Um, this this kind of, you only can play this in monocolor launch, so it's somewhat limited. A lot of the launch lists are multicolor now, so probably won't see too much play. And Ginyu Force Galactic Elite. So here's our last couple of reprints here to strip on. 
In our first pack, we got Android 17. Yo, Android 17 turning the tides. Yes, I love this card. This card's insane. It has deflect. You play for seven energy and you and your opponent swing, send your entire hands back to your deck. So you want to set up your board and play this guy and kind of clear your opponent's board out. And then you can really change the pace of the game if you can make it to seven energy. Really, really cool card. Rip them. Last couple here and a black mass sand. Annoying card, but useful. And it's a good one to have pretty much in every side deck. So nice to get a better looking version of it. We got here, it is a cell. This is the art on the box. I think this looks so rad, this uh, kanji on here and just this gold foil explosion. Really, really beautiful card. I love this blue kind of line striking across him also. This card basically you combo with it and draw a card and it's a 10K combo. You have to pay for it, but it's called the pseudo combo. There's this one, there's also a Goku from the first or second starter deck, I think, but this card is super useful in the right lists. Our last reprint pack here to strip them. Will we get the last super combo? Ooh, Champa Double Strike. This is a great card to have. I'm glad I got a reprint also because this basically goes in every single deck. During your combo step, you just combo him and he'll give whatever you're swinging with Double Strike. So really, really useful card and you see it in pretty much every single deck. So I'm glad they gave it a reprint. Anyway, guys, that's been the Shrip'em. This was a special anniversary 2021. We kind of showcased all the different boxes. We got to see all the sleeve art and all the different box art. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am a dentist. I can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip. So my dental tooth tip to you today would be a lot of people ask if you should floss or brush first. I always recommend flossing first because when you floss before you brush, you kind of get all the stuff out of your teeth and then you brush it all out. I also recommend taking time to floss in the evening, like hang out on the couch and just floss as long as you can, you know, get a bunch of the stuff out of your teeth, take your time with it, really, really clean them and then go ahead and brush that all out of your teeth. I am Joku DMD. Thanks for coming by. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this, make sure to smush that subscription button. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you and I'll see you guys next time.